do when we get Javier? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. <gasps> Vamos, vamos, rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <sighs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the feathers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. The door is stuck. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <laughs> Just a, just a bit more. This way. See, then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus! Easy, Dutch! What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. 
She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I'm just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Art. <laughs> you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> 